Hey guys, it's Amelia, but not the pilot, just Amelia, and welcome back. <laughs> if you don't know what this video is by the title, um, I'm yet again reading another really, really long Harry Potter fanfic that's very popular on TikTok, and I thought I would bring you along on this journey with me. So what to expect from this video? I have read Crimson Rivers the entirety, uh, which is famously a book that's longer than the Bible and also all seven Harry Potter books and also longer than Hunger Games and also long it's longer than basically every book series that's out there it's too long if you ask me um I would say this book is very controversial on TikTok uh a lot of people really love it the author previously posted the entire thing and then ended up taking it down because they received hate that's not the point of this video please do not hate on this author it's that's not nice be nice to people guys um however i will be criticizing this book um because that's what i'm doing it's a book review so i'm sorry but not the whole review is not positive i do have a lot of positive things to say but also you'll see <laughs> this video is indeed very long i apologize um i did leave some chapters down below so that you could skip through to different parts if you want to see my reactions to specific moments uh i read the book over the course of like two months i think it took me maybe longer it took me a while okay that's all i gotta say because <laughs> it's really long and the chapters are really long and i was not fully invested is what i will say um, however, I it was fun. I'm glad I read it. Um, and uh, you'll see my review at the end. I also read the alternative ending to the series, or the first half of it, um, which is also at the end. So I hope you enjoy <laughs> me losing my mind over this fanfic. Going forward, there will be spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, leave. This goes for Hunger Games spoilers, Harry Potter spoilers, and also Crimson River spoilers, so you've been warned. No complaints about it in the comments, thank you. Let's get into the vlog. Alright you guys, welcome to the vlog portion. If you don't want to be spoiled about Crimson Rivers, skip this. I literally put chapters in the bottom of the thing, so if you don't want to watch the vlog part, just skip it. I will be spoiling the plot. I'm just going to be discussing just like off the dome all my thoughts about this in general. To start off, I'm going to give you some, like, pre-reading thoughts of what I know about it in general. Um, basically, I think it started the Hunger Games renaissance. We're in the era of Hunger Games again, and it's due to TikTok. That's the only reason I heard of it. <laughs> My predictions. I know it's Jegulus. I have been told I think there's a little bit of Wolfstar, but that's, like, not really the main point of the story. I personally am not like a huge Jegulus person. I think it's fine, but my like main thought on it is that to me, Regulus is such a tortured soul and I love him so much, but I think, and I understand like a James and Regulus thing a little bit, like a my brother, brother's best friend and or the like, ooh, my older brother's best friend, like he's so hot type of thing, but I really feel like Jegulus, like, the whole torture of it and the whole, like, good thing about it is that it's unrequited. Like, I think James would be like, oh, like, you're my, my little brother's best friend. And, like, James is flirty. And I'm sure James, like, flirts with, with Regulus, but I don't see it ever becoming, like, a thing. That's just my take on it. I know that's probably going to anger some of y'all, but that's my opinion. <laughs> we can have different opinions. That's how I envision my fictional characters, okay? But I do realize this is going to be Jegulus. Uh, I am prepared. I am ready. I am excited. We'll see how it goes. All I know is that it's Hunger Games. I know it's Jegulus. I know Jegulus are in the arena. And it's a Hunger Games Marauders merge. AU. And I know it's really freaking long. So I'm assuming it's going to be sad. I'm going to assume it's going to be uh, really deadly. Um, I guess I'm excited. Also, I will say that I happened to download it before uh, Zara took it down, so no, I will not be giving it to you, so don't comment that. Bye! I'll check in soon. <laughs> okay, we're back. I've read 
four chapters, I think, five chapters. All I have to say is it's so slow. It's so, so slow. And I, I'm trying to remember, I haven't read Hunger Games in a very long time. And I, I think I remember Hunger Games sort of being like this as well. Like pacing wise, you're like, let's just get into it. Let's get into the arena. I know what's going to happen. Like, let's get, let's get in there. That's where the spice and exciting stuff happens. I'm so bored. It's, it's taken me a really long time. Also, I'm 91 pages in already. And that's only 3% of the book i'm gonna cry this is gonna take freaking forever i thought it was gonna be like quick quick fast and i can't put it down i'm i'm getting a little i'm a little bored not gonna lie i love the way the hunger games and harry potter like characters and plots are merged i think that's very very creative very very cool zarded like sort of perfectly i it makes so much sense to me like Sirius being a volunteer victor that that tracks that makes complete sense and that gives him like the twisted uh like traumatized backstory that Sirius has in Harry Potter love that um James and Sirius growing up in the Victor's village also makes sense love that 10 out of 10 the blacks being like sort of uh like Victor family also tracks makes sense I was a little annoyed at first that the like regular Sirius black family didn't grow up in the victor village like from the start but like it's i get it i understand like for plot reasons that's like what happened i whatever it's fine i get it um i love that regulus has been chosen twice i think that's like yeah this man has bad luck he's like screwed from the start that's that's regulus's character <laughs> i will say i didn't like how they changed Euphemia Potter to Effie because it threw me off for a second. I get they're like Hunger Gamesing all of the names sort of, um, which I do like. I think it's very interesting and it makes sense. You might as well. But Effie is Effie Trinket. Like I'm going to associate the name Effie with Effie Trinket. So when they started talking about Effie, I didn't realize immediately that was Euphemia. That was his mom. At first, I was literally like, why is James Potter his mom Effie Trinket? That makes no sense. I was a little confused with that, but I'll forgive them. I love the, like, contrast of, like, oh no, Sirius's best friend and little brother are in the arena. Who do you save? Like, we love a trolley problem. Like, perfect. That makes sense. It's great. I already think I exactly know what's going to happen. I'm going to make my predictions in just a little second. So, predictions. At first, I wasn't exactly sure how they were going to fit Remus in at all. I was thinking, oh, maybe Remus is like the Gale. Like, he's back in District 12 or wherever they're from. And, like, that's how Sirius meets him. And he's, like, not really going to be in this book. But making him, like, the equivalent of an Avox makes perfect sense. I love that. Chef's kiss. Like, so good. However... I will say that I, I'm not super into how some of these characters are written. I understand they're Hunger Gamesified. I think James is great. He's perfect. I like J that is that's James Potter that that is. <laughs> like he's like really good at everything. He's really sociable. He's really flirty. He's just out there living his best life. That's James Potter. Regulus is getting a little annoying to me because he's pretty uh like immature and annoying very little brother e and i get like he's traumatized and stuff so yeah he's like annoying and immature but first off if you're living in a terrible world and your life is full of traumas you learn to adapt and you become more mature because of that and i don't think this regulus has matured also they're all aged up in this they're 25 26 so regulus is 25 james is 26 Sirius is 27 probably i think is how their age works and i'm 25 and uh I, like i'm not a, i'm not a kid anymore i don't act like a child <laughs> i have a fully developed brain and i'm so i'm just like this is a little inaccurate i'm a little like regulus is just like pissing me off because he's making like dumb choices and sure you're like he's reckless sure he's trying to piss people off but also at the same time i'm like my dude like grow up you're in the hunger games my dude grow up <laughs> The way Sirius is written also bothers me a little bit because Sirius with Remus, like the wolf store thing, Sirius is not bashful to me. I don't think Sirius Black is a bashful person ever. And he's very bashful in this. He's very embarrassed. He's klutzy. He's like a mess around Remus, which is like cute. I get the trope, whatever. But to me, that's not Sirius Black. I'm not saying that Sirius Black is like a whore 
physically i think that makes sense that they're like oh like everyone thinks he's sleeping around but he's not but i do think he's a whore mentally like that man is flirting with everyone and does not care and that's like part of his thing like he's confident and he's going for it but there's no results you know what i'm saying like i think i he's, he's too bashful and like messy <laughs> And like really caring and kind. I don't think Sirius Black is caring and kind, guys. Sorry. I think he's like punk rock, rebellious. And like he's caring and kind sometimes, but like he has to make an effort to do that. I don't think his first thought is, oh, like Remus, how can I help you in your AVOX duties? I think his like first thought is like, wow, you're pretty and I'm going to make out with you or something. And then after they start dating or something, then he'll be like, hmm, can I like hang out with you? And then I guess help you while I'm hanging out. That's what I think Sirius Black is. So I don't really like that super much. Same with Remus. Remus does not seem correct to me. He seems too normal. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs, I get he's an AVOX. He's been tortured for five years. He's an indentured servant. Okay, fine. Um, but he seems too normal. He should be more, like, effed up. He should, he should, it should be worse. There's something, he's too normal. I, that's all I gotta say. I love that Marlene and Dorcas are worked into this. I also really liked, they had, like, designers when they were, I don't know why they got designers. I guess that was the parade. They had twin designers that dressed them up and they had a little makeover scene, right? I think this is chapter two or three. And I liked that they were basically Fred and George. I don't remember their names, but they both starred F and G. And I liked that they're basically Fred and George. That was like a cute little, I was like, ooh, space. I also liked the like Death Eater inclusion. I think that's very interesting how they did that. The Death Eaters as the careers makes complete sense. I love that. I'm I'm sort of confused how Regulus is going to like fake join them. So I'm interested to see how that happens, but I'm convinced that's what's going to happen. <laughs> so my current thought, my main prediction, like overall plot prediction. They get into the arena, it's going fine, whatever, people are dying. James and Sirius or James and Regulus like make it to the end basically. And then I think James is going to make it out alive, but only because Regulus does some sort of self-sacrificing thing that ends up drowning him. I'm predicting they're gonna sort of stick to the main plot a bit. Drowning him, but while he drowns, he takes out the remaining Death Eaters with him. Something like that. Um, it also might be a big spectacle that sort of breaks the game. I'm sort of predicting something like that. I'm not really sure where the plot of this story ends. I don't, does it go after the arena or does the book end with like the end of the games? I don't know. Because my one thought is maybe they, they break the game somehow. And so they're now outside of the game in like a civil war, aka Mockingjay plot. And then Regulus will die then type of thing. They both make it out of the arena. Or if the plot ends with the arena, the game being done, then I think James is the victor. He's sadly the victor. He, he's not happy. <laughs> and I don't think he like kills anyone to do it. I think he's like the last one standing. I sort of feel like he's like going to be sick or something or he's like going to be stuck. And then like Regulus has to go do something to save him. So Regulus is like self-sacrificing in the end, but not like killing someone outright. I don't think there's gonna be like a duel at the end. That's my prediction. We'll see how close I get. <laughs> I'm ready to be wrong or ready to be like absolutely gut-wrenchingly sad. However, I'm a little confused how they're fitting the Marauders plot in. So like Sirius and James, obviously friends already. Remus has been introduced, great. Peter is one of the arena people. And so I feel like he's also going to have some sort of hand in backstabbing James. So that'll be interesting. Lily, nowhere to be found. She actually just got introduced in the last chapter I read. And I'm sort of annoyed because I feel like Lily's character has really been minimized in this. And I like Lily a lot. And I love Jilly. And I have a feeling that Jilly's like just not going to happen at all straight up, which is fine. I get this is a Jegula story. Sure. But I feel like there should be like the possibility of Jilly happening after the fact. Because to me, that's what makes Jegulus tragic, you know? That it like, it was never endgame. Jegulus was never endgame. It was always going to be Jilly. And that's what makes it sad. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you get me? 
because Regulus is always the second brother. He's always the one that died and didn't get recognition. He's the one that like was a black through and through, but was also a disappointment, but also betrayed his family, you know? But he never gets the credit and he dies so young. Anyway, another interesting cameo thing. Voldemort is like the President Snow, I think. And then Horace Slughorn is the main game maker. Don't really know how that's going to come into play yet, but I do think it's interesting. There hasn't been a Snivellus yet. I, I was, I'm curious, is he going to be there? I thought he was going to be one of the Death Eaters, maybe, but I don't think there is. I don't remember there being a Snivellus. I do really think that there's going to be more of like messing with the games, like Katniss style. Hello, it's like a day later. I have now gotten up to the point where they're just entering the arena. So I have some more thoughts that I would like to say. I don't particularly like how the relationships are shown. Something about them feels off to me. Um, there was that like Sirius and Remus like cuddly in the bed. It's like cute, but somehow when they get into these like intimate moments, they lose their personalities to me something feels off. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something. <laughs> Same with James and Regulus, that scene. I was like, sure. I also totally thought it was going to end with Regulus being like, that's right, you little. <laughs> and being really mean, not in a sexual way, but like being like nasty. Um, And he didn't, which is fine, I guess. Either way, James left and he was like, ooh, ooh that was great. And I was like, God damn it, James. <laughs> I still, I just don't really buy James being in love with Regulus. And I know I'm not a Regulus person. That's just how it is. I mean, I'm just plowing through. I'm reading it. It's fine. We're, we're going to keep moving on. But I just don't, the fact that like James likes Regulus because he got hit in the head with a snowball doesn't track for me. It doesn't make sense in my head. Also, all of the things that James listed when he was like, this is why I like Regulus are all superficial. He's like, he's hot and he has shiny eyes. I'm like, okay, James, but like, do you actually like this person? Or are you just like, he's hot? So I'm a little disappointed in that. Whatever. I do really like how they're merging the characters with Hunger Games still. I think it's very interesting. I don't understand why they just killed off Fabian and Gideon. That didn't make sense to me because James... Regulus and Sirius don't seem like that much of a threat in the world of the Hunger Games. They haven't made an impact. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. The whole thing about Peeta and Katniss being like, like the stylist got killed or whatever is because they were making a political statement that was so clear that the game makers had a problem with it. James and Sirius Elvin did not have a political statement. It didn't. And all they said was, oh, we're in love. And the game maker said, perfect, we're gonna work that into the story. <laughs> I don't understand why they it doesn't make sense why they got killed off whatever and we're moving on also I it's just going so slow I really I keep wanting to put it down I'm 9% in and I've read 239 pages ah but also okay wait I have new predictions because my cousin he didn't mean to but he spoiled something for me because you see I knew this book was really long, but I didn't realize that they were covering the, like, all three books within this Crimson Rivers. I thought it was sort of just, like, the plot of Hunger Games 1 with Jegulus imposed on it. That's what I thought it was going to be. I don't know why it was so long. I was just like, I don't know. The author writes a lot. I don't know. <laughs> so my original theory was that it's the first plot and Regulus is somehow going to die in the arena in some sort of watery death akin to Harry Potter and James is going to make it out just because he happens to be the last alive. That was my thought. I also had like a like sort of sub thought in the background that like oh if there is multiple arenas and it is following the Hunger Games plot more this is what's going to happen. And my cousin spoiled for me that there is multiple arenas and that it is following the three <laughs> Mockingjay, Hunger Games, whatever, thing, structure. So, my updated theory. I'm, I'm sort of, like, less motivated to read this now because he accidentally spoiled it. But it's not his fault. <laughs> He's just bad at spoiling things. He's like Tom Holland. 
my new thought is that they're going to make it out of the first one because obviously they break the games or something like that and then James and Regulus are going to make it out together. They're going to be the survivors because they do some sort of thing that's like we're going to kill ourselves if we don't make it out together and then just like Katniss and Peeta, they're just going to let them free. I don't really like how closely the Jegulus relationship is mimicking Katniss and Peeta because to be quite honest, I didn't care for that relationship in Hunger Games. I don't like Cat Piss or whatever their ship name is. I think it's not a good relationship <laughs> and nothing about it like is exciting. I don't like Katniss and Peeta. Katniss is fine by herself. Peeta's just there. He's just Ken. <laughs> and so that's how I feel about this. I don't like how they're making them sort of the same in this Crimson Rivers, but whatever. Because yeah, in this, Regulus would be Katniss and James is Peta, and I just don't really buy it. Anyway, they are going to make it out of the first one. There's going to be a second one that's going to have everybody in it. I think the second one is where all the Marauders are going to die. That's going to be sort of like the James Lily death type of deal. And then Regulus is going to die probably out of the thing somehow. Maybe Regulus is like the Prim, like how Prim dies in the third one. Maybe that's how Regulus dies. And then Sirius and Remus are somehow going to make it to the end, but then die, I guess. Or maybe they're the only ones left because like the second war, whatever, Voldy dies, all that jazz. But since Regulus is like the Katniss of this, maybe he does make it to the end and Sirius is the one who dies like prim but then it's like who kills him by accident james who's the gale in this situation that's my question that i'm confused about where's gale because <laughs> it, it seems pretty like equal one for one of which character in hunger games is which harry potter character they seem very equivalent in this so i don't really know who gale is supposed to be unless that's like remus so is remus gonna end up killing sirius somehow that would be heart-wrenching <laughs> i don't want that i will say something i really like so far is the use of amnesia for sirius i think it makes a lot of sense i think it's very like plot driving it's very interesting and it, it's leaving me as a reader very left wondering like ooh, like are we ever gonna find out what he's forgotten because he forgets his last moments with James, which is so important. He forgot them, and I it makes me really sad for him, and it's so heart-wrenching as a reader to read it. It's, it's very interesting and well done, I think. So, I'm in the arena, guys, so wish me luck. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so first day in the arena. I This is going to be a really long vlog if I'm making vlogs after every day, but damn. The river? The river? The river? Genius. Genius, Zar. Genius. Actually, I hope Zar's not watching this because I'm being extremely critical and I, I, I'm just, I'm doing a book review. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river, I like, mm, also so reg coated. I was like, my dude, hmm, you're a goner. Like that river is prime reg death, like perfect setup. He's going down in that. That is his body of water. He's going to die in it. I'm so positive. However, I don't really know anymore because like why would they kill him off when he's sort of the main character? Like he's the Katniss, Regness. He is Reginess. <laughs> Cat, Catulus. No, I like Reginess better. He is Re Reginess, Regulusness. Mm, I don't know, I'll figure it out. He is Katniss and Katniss doesn't die. So I don't think he's going to die either. I think him and James are going to get out of it now. But very exciting very creative i was obsessed i was like okay it's the cornucopia but it's not the cornucopia it's very mimicking harry potter love that also evan i'm pretty positive is one of the like distant cousins of the blacks i think they do know each other or they're supposed to but i guess they don't in this um this is just some deep harry potter lore that i happen to know <laughs> i hate myself <laughs> James taking care of people? That tracks. That makes sense. Perfect. Done. Him and Pete? Yeah. I will say, though, I'm a little bored by the Wolf Star, which I'm not- I was not expecting, because I sort of just want the arena stuff. It's- I do really like that we're getting all different perspectives and we're getting, like, not only the arena people, but also the- what are they called? The mentors? The mentor's perspective because i always feel like hamish's perspective would be such a per like interesting perspective he has to rewatch all these problems happen again and again and all these people die over and over again 
and so we get to see that through Sirius and I love that and then we have like Avox Remus great love it but I will say that I don't understand why these chapters are so freaking long <laughs> like there's like 50 something pages in each chapter I'm not sure if that's just because of the way my pdf downloaded but either way the chapters feel really long and I wish they were like separated a little bit more. I just don't care about the Wolf Star stuff as much. I just want the arena. That's what I'm here for. I want death and hunger games. And Reggie's first his first kill. Regness first kill. Avery, great, amazing, very exciting. And it was very like rough. It just happened. It's done. I'm vibing. I'm very much vibing again. I almost like dropped this book. Like did not finish, but here we are. All right, day two, guys. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This this is crazy. I'm so deeply obsessed now. I don't even know how to explain. Okay, so this I just read, I guess, day two and three. I'm at the end of day three. They were flirting and then all of a sudden James is killing someone crazy and that's of course that's of course how it happened he didn't even know what was going on the little baby boy he was in shock i was so ready for him to be like in shock for chapters but of course we kept up with the plot next thing death eaters they're cutting off multiverse hand and then evan dies james in a bear trap jesus christ this is so well written obsessed however i will say um it's it's not well written in the like writing part the plot amazing <laughs> but i'm having some problems understanding who's talking um i think uh, there's like a, a thing you're supposed to do when you're writing that you're supposed to start a new paragraph i think is like the rule you start a new paragraph when the subject changes so whoever's speaking changes you start a new paragraph and that lets the reader subconsciously know that the person who's talking has changed and i consistently feel like that's not happening and then i'm confused who's talking also i'm not a big fan of i feel like there's a lot of these like tiny paragraphs where they're just talking about like their thoughts and memories and stuff and i just don't care i just want the action and so i get a little bored and i sort of skim through those <laughs> but the plot is crazy that draw i can't believe it. the freaking bear trap also they still haven't addressed the, the fact that like regulus's shoulder was in a hook and he has that thing on his side like are we not addressing that at all he's definitely injured he needs medicine he's not just gonna like magically heal if he does i'll be upset he shouldn't just magically heal but i i did call this if you recall i said that james is gonna get hurt somehow and then regulus was gonna have to go like do something for him aka Katniss Pita vibes and then as I was reading this chapter I was like once Mulsabur was not behind them I was like oh he definitely went back for James so that's not good but no cannon has gone off yet so I'm like James must be okay I also was really excited for the serious perspective because obviously we know this is happening we're no we're probably gonna get a serious perspective and it was so good like that was the perfect usage of that i was like oh it's delicious delicious mm. I'm, I'm gonna go find out what happens to my baby boy james now because he's alone in a cave with a leg that's infected i'm assuming he's probably gonna have a fever soon i don't know how he's gonna get the medicine but i feel like it's got to be like a dramatic like he can't reach the medicine it's like outside the cave or something and then like regulus as it regulus that was a weird pronunciation <laughs> and then reggie has to like go get the medicine apply it to him all romantic uh, but i think james is gonna be stuck in this like cave for a, a good long while unless the medicine is like magical which i'll be a little disappointed in but the games are almost over guys i think i think there's only like less than 10 people now but the problem is it's all of those kids <laughs> that they don't want to kill so are they gonna get killed or not? I don't know. And then Reg is finally doing some of his Katniss things. He just did his little Rue moment where Rue dies and then Katniss is like, Reg just rode in a tree and it caught on fire. <laughs> sort of the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I need to go find out what happens to James, so I have to go, bye. <laughs> Serious writing baby as the note <laughs> in the care package is so funny. I know he did it for a reason, but it also just sounds like a mocking older brother thing, and I love it. But James survived, so that's great. Mulsper's dead, and they got the medicine, so everything's going to be okay now. Great. I love it. Amazing. So good. 
Hello again. So we got a cute little Lily chapter. Not really where I thought she was gonna be. Also not who I thought she was gonna be with. Sybil Trelawney? What? <laughs> but it was cute. I do sort of wish there was more bi characters. I'm not sure if there's going to be bi characters, but so far it's just a lot of just like straight gay people. Like men, men love men, woman love woman, or whatever, W-L, whatever. Saying that out loud sounds really weird. Um, which, we love the gays, but I want all representation, not just the straight gays. What? <laughs> oh, I want bi, this is bi erasure, is what I'm saying. I'm saying this is bi erasure and I want more bi people. Also, is there trans characters? That would be nice. Um, we have one non-binary person, I guess, Matthias, goes by they, them, so I like that. So yeah, Lily's fine. Of course, she's with the Order of the Phoenix, which is, of course, District 13. That makes complete sense. We get the Dorcas Molly scene, which was sad, but plot. And then what else is happening? Sirius and Remu are progressing, shall we say? Um, And James and Reg have uh, made it to the other little camp. And I think things are going too well currently so something bad is definitely gonna happen soon and right now they're planning this like thing to go take a bridge to the river or something which is really dumb like whatever i think what's gonna happen is that peter is gonna get caught peter's supposed to be lighting a bunch of fires and then i think he's gonna get caught by the death eaters and i think he's gonna like fake his alliance or whatever like he's gonna make an alliance with the death eaters and somehow escape and then, like, tell the Death Eaters where they're living in the cave. And that's that's my prediction. If not, I think Peter's gonna die. Um, besides that, I think the spiders should come back soon. I don't know why they only happened once. Game makers, what's going on? Something's gonna happen soon. Like, some game maker type of thing is gonna happen soon. I don't really know if they're gonna have, like, a conflict with the Death Eaters quite yet. But I think we're gonna get some, like, external turmoil. <laughs> um and uh yeah also regulus just gave his blanket away to vanity i think that was a dumb move we'll see if it comes back to bite them uh, my current theory is either they're somehow all going to escape which i don't think makes sense uh, my original theory was that just regulus and james escape um but i feel like if we're following marauders peter should also escape so we could have a little Marauders thing going on. But I'm thinking that's probably not going to happen. But uh, my thought is either somehow they kill the three remaining Death Eaters. And or like break the game. And so like the remaining ten people I think it is all escape somehow. Or the more likely thing is just James and Reg. Um, they get to the end and they don't want to kill each other. Cat piss style. They get out of the arena and go on with their little tour. That's what I think is going to happen. Hopefully that happens soon, because we're already, what, like 10 days into the arena? I feel like the arenas don't usually last this long. I feel like everyone sort of dies. Also, no one's died in a couple days, which is no good for the game makers. They're going to be mourned. I will say <laughs> I've been having some quandaries that I would like to ask Suzanne Collins, but also I want to know your opinions. Let me know down below. My eyes look so watery right now. I'm just really tired. I've been looking at a screen all day. <laughs> I swear I'm not crying. Quandaries for Suzanne Collins, but also for you. Let me know down below what you think. In the Hunger Games, would they televise curse words and also sex? <laughs> if someone was to say, like, have sex in the Hunger Games with somebody else, would they televise it? This is what I've been thinking about. Because my original thought was if they're televising murder, they already have different like social rules for what is allowed on television. And I think they would also just televise sex as well because it's entertainment. It's free. It's there. <laughs> and I also think they would leave curse words in. Because they don't, like children are watching this and they don't care that the children are seeing murder. So I think it's fine. <laughs> They'd be like, yes, entertainment, real people. But I was talking about this with my cousins and we were talking about how they like do that like tactful like fade to black type of thing which would honestly be more dramatic but i was like 
could that be like a tactic that the tributes could use? What if they were all naked, running around naked? Would they be televised or would they get like a blur? Because I do feel like the Capitol has pretty advanced technology. So they might be able to like blur live things, you know, since it's a live show. And also like bleep live stuff. I don't know. So I was thinking yeah, maybe because the Capitol is sort of like they think they're fancy. They'd be like, oh, we don't televise sex. We just hint at it or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, let me know what you think down below. Also, if I ever meet Susan Collins, apparently this is the question I'm going to ask her. <laughs> And on that note, let's get back to the book. Bye! You guys, that was crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to finish. I want to finish because I know that Rena's probably almost done now, but I can't. I have to go to sleep. It's pretty late here already. Exactly what I said happened. Peter got caught. And then, of course, he gave in because he's a sniveling little rat. Although he did have like a little bit of redemption. Don't really know if I like that. It's fine. Whatever. He's somewhere out there now. I'm gonna predict that now he's gonna like befriend the Death Eaters maybe and betray again but he's gonna die so I think I think he's gonna be dead because I've now figured out how this the plot wraps into Hunger Games perfectly they now have that venom which great plot trip I loved that I was so convinced they were gonna use it though to like kill a bunch of people like a bunch of people all at once maybe I was thinking maybe all the Death Eaters would go or like a more dramatic scene with the fear aspect but it's it was still used it still worked whatever it is very spooky very creepy uh, yeah I just don't understand why they spent so much time at the cave obviously plot I get it whatever but seriously like get all their stuff and then leave like they filled up too many bags and they couldn't even carry all the bags idiots but whatever everyone's dead love that so we lost Hodge Vanity Willa is that her name maybe also Irene and Matthias R.I.P and Juniper which immaculate immaculate Regulus getting stuck on the one side of the river while James gets towed into the thing and then he thinks James is dead <laughs> perfect however I really thought what was gonna happen is the Death Eaters were gonna like take James all the way back to their lair because they knew it would like lure Regulus out and then there's like a dramatic scene where they're like we're gonna kill your boyfriend but first we'll kill you ha <laughs> ha whatever I'm assuming they're like Regulus is gonna get over to James somehow cure James and then they're gonna kill the Death Eaters whatever it's gonna be the last of them those two left so who else has to die the two Death Eaters Peter that's it mm. Perfect. Okay, so the two Death Eaters and Peter all have to die. I don't know how that's going to happen, what order, whatever. James and Regulus are going to be left, and then they're going to do the cat piss thing where they are like, well, we both want to win, so we're going to take this poison from the venom bottle that James has. And then they're going to get airlifted out of the thing and win as a couple. So cute. Love to see it. Um, I think maybe we'll get like a little Jegulus kiss, maybe? I have a feeling that Regulus is so pushed over the edge, which is exactly what Sirius didn't want to happen, that when they reunite, Regulus is going to, like, really show his emotions and his feelings, and then James is going to be like, God bless, and Sirius is going to be like, God damn it, <laughs> he's broken. <laughs> and then all of the fans of the show will be like, yeah, that's what we want, and also us, because it's a commentary, guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm really enjoying this but uh, I'm actually going on a vacation um, tomorrow. So I don't actually know the next time I'm going to read this, probably next week sometime. I am 21% in, which is crazy. <laughs> like, there's so much left. Uh, and I'm 576 pages in. So I'll see you maybe in a week. I mean, I do, I want to read more, but I simply can't because then I know I won't be able to put it down and I need to go enjoy this vacation with my family, so... Just being responsible, guys. Oh my god, my eye bags look terrible right now. I just need to sleep, okay? You know, I'm really tired. I'm a grad student. I'll see ya. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, so, so much delicious things have just happened. So, Regulus has found out that James is alive. Also, they announced the two people could win thing, which I totally forgot happened in the Hunger Games. <laughs> that was the thing, wasn't it? Maybe I have to reread normal Hunger Games now. Anyway, I still think the nightshade thing is going to happen, but they'll drink that, like, Vespa poison or whatever it's called. 
And then, um, but currently, Reg found James, great. Sirius drugged James the hell up, very funny. And then Reg had to pretend to love James, very sad. That was, that was rough. Oh, also, Sirius and Remus had some wolf star moments where they said some quotes that I'm assuming people like, which are like, like your scars are your stars or something. And then Remus is a moon. Love that. Love it. Love moon. I love the OG reference material. Sirius went and did something with some guy. We don't know what happened and I'm a little nervous about that. So we'll see because as previously stated, Sirius was saying how because he's been seen as such a like sexual being that he is now turned off from sex. Love some ace representation. I'm like sort of ace, ace spec. And then James and Reg made out. Love that. And then they got their medicine. Love that. Now James is really mad and he's breaking. Very sad. As a James lover, I'm very, very crushed by this when James when James woke up and he was like, this is the first time I didn't want to be alive. That hurt. That, that hurt a lot. And then when James is, he's very different now. Lots of different changes. He's not feeling as hopeful. Finally, Reg tells him what's going on, that there is hope. Now he's fine again. Now he's he's getting his, his groove back on, but he's really angry. Good vibes. I love it. It's so good. Delicious. Um, they just had a big fight. I was a little confused about how the fight started. I mean, I, I know why it happened. They both had a bunch of pent-up like anger and stuff but then all of a sudden reg just like stopped and was like james and then james just like turns around and starts yelling and i was like that sort of seems unrealistic i don't know i, f I feel like if i was mad at someone i would literally just never talk to them i'd be so pissed it would just not happen and so i thought the author was setting up a sort of like reg stepped in a bear trap or something and was like james and then james turns around and starts ranting or whatever and doesn't notice that like reg is hurt or about to be hurt and then they have a little like speaking moment and then they actually solve the problem i thought that's what was going to happen it didn't they just turned around and walked the other way but there's only three more people left that they have to kill so well, we're almost there boys and i'm like 600 pages in i think that's like halfway almost i don't remember how many pages there were this is such a long book jesus christ i don't really have any more predictions new predictions i guess but i hope we get some more serious pov soon i love it and oh yeah and we had a dorcas and marlene scene liked that a lot as well and that's it so i'll check in with you soon the big battle just happened we're out of the arena boys we're out to be quite honest i wish we we're back in the arena because i'm getting a little bored again but thrilling very exciting ending of course so we have the big spider they all have to fight the big spider to get together i told you the big spiders were coming back I do feel like they weren't, like, used enough, I guess, because it's only done twice, but it was still very exciting, and they all work together, teamwork, cute, which I don't really know if I buy, but whatever, not very realistic, I feel like they survive, they capture Reg and James, so it's not gonna look good, but, like, I know how this is gonna end, we know what's gonna happen, all three are gonna die, and then Reg and James are gonna be left, I look exhausted, I'm not this tired, I swear, James is stabbed. Ah, that was so good. That scene where he was like, JK, only one, Victor. And then James goes, you hesitated. Ah, I love it. And then he drops his hand and he's stabbed. Ah. I was so convinced that they were both going to drink the Vespa juice together. So the entire scene, pretty much, I was like, okay, when is it happening? When is it happening? When's he going to figure it out? And I thought it was sort of going to be like, well, guess we'll die together. Let's drink the Vespa juice together. But my, the entire time, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, they we only have one little vial. So how are they going to split it into two so they can both drink it at the same time? Um, and now I get the answer. This is so much smarter. This is perfect. I, at the very beginning, was thinking that this river was made for Regulus. I was correct. But I didn't ever, like, think that it was going to get to this point because I was convinced Reg was going to survive. So I was like, it doesn't make sense to me that he'll go in the river at all. But this is so clever. I'm obsessed. James is dying. They make out. He clamps him to the thing, which I was like, ooh, love that. Little throwback to the beginning. I thought it was weird that he had handcuffs in his bag. Now I understand why. And then Reg is like, bye, I'm diving into the river. Oh, that's so good. So good. 
And then James is like, well, I'm going to die too. Dislocates his shoulder. Crazy. And then about to drink the Vespa juice. And then they're like, nope. We're going to save you both. You're both victors. And the river spits Reg back out. That was crazy. And then they both pass out. I love it. But honestly, the entire time I've been reading this end bit, I was like, where is Sirius' perspective? I cannot wait for Sirius' perspective. It's going to be crazy. We didn't really get a full Sirius' perspective, so I'm a little upset. And now we're at the hospital. Sirius and Reg are having a little moment, and I'm assuming James will come around eventually. But apparently he's going to have a limp because he's going to have a cane. Hot. Love that for him. We love James Potter. Also, there's something so awful about, like, the unrequited love, but it's not unrequited because they both love each other, so it's just, like, wrong time. That's, that's rough because they, it's not unrequited, you know, but they're pretending it is. Like, if it was just a different time, it might have worked out, but James fell too late and didn't tell anyone. And Regulus convinced himself that he's no longer in love. And went through the heartbreak and trying to get over it already. Ah, so good. Do you remember yesterday when I was like, I think I'm almost done. I'm only 27% in. <laughs> oh, hello, it's been a while. I am officially a thousand pages into this goddamn book. I just did the whole victory tour and then them like finding out about the quarter quell. It's it's been fine. I was told this bit was gonna be really boring and it sort of was, but at the same time it wasn't like awful. It's definitely not as exciting as the arena bits, but there's still like little things happening. I have no theories really, thoughts not there, head empty. <laughs> My only real thoughts were things like why is Lily making out with everybody also that's not lily i don't know who that is but it's simply not lily i don't know what to tell you oh i'm screaming at the fact that minnie mcgonagall is the new game maker i also forgot for a second that she is in the order because i was like are they gonna make minnie a bad guy because if they do i'm stopping this book right now but no, she's an undercover order member. That makes sense. We love to see it. Uh, Sirius met Remus's dad. Uh, they started an uprising in the one district. Mm, I think I was thinking about why are they district six? It seems very random. They just chose a random district and they were like, that's where they're from. I almost feel like they should be district seven just to be a little cheeky. Seven horcruxes, ah? But, um... They're six, and I don't really, it feels really random, and I don't like when things are random in books, I, it, it's lazy. I'm patiently waiting, I'm here sat, waiting for the Dorcas Marlene plot. When's it happening? I love that we got to meet Mary, very fun, been loving the James Regulus developments, even though it's like weird because I don't ship Regulus, but this book is making me, I'm like, hmm, yeah, they're a cute little couple. I don't ship them in canon, but in this, it's like, okay, yeah. Since I know that the second Hunger Games is catching fire and it's the quarter quell and the same tributes go back in, I've been thinking about it. Because obviously, if we're following Hunger Games word for word, James and Regulus are going to go back in. And then Sirius is going to be the mentor, but they're going to break the game or whatever and get snatched out by the order. Done. Perfect. Great. However, we also have Effie, James's mom. I don't know what's going to happen with her. Uh, she hasn't been killed yet. <laughs> And I feel like they're gonna die soon. Maybe they'll die when they get snatched out of the arena. Like the Potters will die. Because the black parents died. R.I.P. Don't really care. But yeah, I'm still, I'm just thinking about Euphemia and Fleamont. What's going on with them? Obviously they announced the quarter quell devastating. I don't remember that happening in the book. But I guess it did. Because when they got chosen, there's only them. I'm a little confused about how this is going to work because Effie, Euphemia, was saying that she's going to volunteer, like, pretty much no matter what happens. And then there's, like, you can only volunteer for one person, but, like, how is it going to end up in the arena? And then there's going to be one of them as the mentor. And my only thought is that, like, Euphemia can't go into the arena because that's going to be really boring. That's not the plot that we want. That's not the delicious chaoticness. So I feel like the new, there should be some sort of rule that's like, you can't volunteer at all. Like whoever gets chosen has to go in and then it'll be James Regulus. Although I will say James and Sirius or Sirius and Regulus in the arena would also be absolutely devastating. <laughs> like it has to be Sirius, James and Regulus as 
mentor and two people because that's just how they're gonna get extracted to the order like that's that's how that's gonna work um so i guess we'll see what happens i'm also i'm very excited to see how the new arena is because the last arena was changed from the like original type of arena so i'm curious if they're gonna do the clock thing again because the clock thing is so cool but at the same time are they gonna do something else something spicy you gotta do something spicy i was also thinking about how james's leg is like messed up if he's in the arena how is he gonna do anything that's gonna be bad and I'm also still curious about what's going on with Remus. Yeah, I don't think I've checked in since then. Remus was being tortured in Azkaban, which was truly awful. I also, I can't believe, like, so Remus is in Azkaban, not Sirius. And so I wonder if it's gonna continue that or if Sirius will end up in Azkaban as well. Um, but I just sort of feel like the way this is written, Remus is the one that goes to Azkaban. I think that makes more sense. He was getting tortured and they pretty much did, I'm assuming it was that Horcrux Hornet gas on him but he survived and most people haven't been surviving so that's where i think they were gonna do some sort of mutation thing and then i was thinking about how the real hunger games plot has those mutation people like after they die they mutate and so i was wondering if remus was gonna be something like that which would be horrible i'm assuming that's his like werewolf type of thing but so far we haven't seen anything but, like what happened as the result of that i don't know it's gonna be bad delicious i can't wait after that remus scene happened they left me in the dark for so long i was like is remus dead did, did he, they just kill off remus like just casually and then we never hear about him again i was losing my mind and then he comes back and everything's fine but obviously it's not but oh, that was that was very exciting okay i'm finally at the reaping i know it's been like literally five minutes later but i almost feel like i should live react to this I just want to say really fast, I love the weird little, like, cameos from different Harry Potter characters. So Aberforth is the mayor of District 6. It's so cute. It's really funny. Um, but also, I think something that Crimson River does really well that Hunger Games didn't is that the fact that they're all related makes this eight times worse. Because no matter who gets chosen, everyone else is going to be absolutely devastated. Also, the fact that they were, like, getting a semblance of hope. Like, you really get to see them finally settling in. They are finally, like, it took a really long time to recover from the arena. And now it's one year later and they're finally, like, starting to live again. And then it's immediately snatched out from under them. Delicious. <laughs> we love drama. So, Regulus Black was just chosen three times. That's so, ugh, what a great line. All right. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm about to see who's going in the arena with him. I almost have a feeling that, well, because whoever gets chosen, Effie said she's going to volunteer, and I sort of have a feeling that Effie's gonna get, like, snipered or something, because I, I just don't, Effie can't go into the arena, it doesn't make sense. So, anyway, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm, like, really nervous. Oh, <laughs> Sirius just volunteered. Oh my god. Well, I wasn't expecting that. That's so exciting. Okay. So, the, okay, okay. Who's gonna get, I guess, someone else is, who's gonna be next? And then is Regulus gonna volunteer or James? Now everything's out the door. They're just, they're, everyone's volunteering. What do we do? Oh my god. Okay. Wait, what's gonna happen? Ooh. Serious in the arena, let's go. Oh, that's gonna be so good. I think it's gonna be serious in James then. So James is gonna James is gonna volunteer then, probably for his mom or something. <gasps> okay, wait, I have a prediction. Effie's gonna get chosen, but James is gonna volunteer. James and Sirius are gonna go in. Effie's gonna be the mentor. Regulus is gonna disappear off the face of the earth, but it's because he's gonna become like a death eater and he's gonna start working for Riddle. That's spicy. That's spicy. Okay, Regulus volunteer for James. Regulus volunteer for James. This is drama. Could you imagine watching this Hunger Games on TV? Like, oh, the family drama. My God, they're making good television. <laughs> Damn. Not the two Black Brothers promising and then breaking their promises. 
Sirius and Regulus in the arena. That's so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. This also makes sense because James can't walk, so he would pretty much die in the arena. That makes sense. Except I was sort of thinking like marauders would end up in the arena and then all die, but I guess they're not because they're gonna get snatched out. Where's James gonna go? I'm so confused. That was great. That was, I love, ugh, great chapter. Okay, so conclusion, what just happened? So Regulus got chosen, Sirius volunteered, and then James got chosen, but Regulus volunteered. So Regulus is in it anyway, the Black Brothers. That's, ugh, delicious. Also the fact that like Euphemia just had to say goodbye to James who said he wasn't coming back, and now she has to say goodbye to Sirius who said he's not coming back. <laughs> but now the Potter family is fine. <laughs> And then James is going to be the mentor. So now that makes sense. Euphemia and Fleamont are going to stay in the district. I bet they're going to die. And then James is going to be the mentor. That's going to suck for him. Interesting. So I guess James and Remus are going to become best buds and hang out in the apartment the whole time. And then when they escape, they'll escape together. Ooh, nice. Okay. And then Sirius and Regulus are going to hate each other in the arena, but they'll, they'll survive together. And then Regulus... Oh, maybe Regulus will start befriending the career Death Eaters in the arena already, just because he's pissed at Sirius. And he'll do it to survive, but then when they snatch out of the arena, he won't get snatched, so he'll go with the dark side. Okay, maybe that's what's gonna happen. Or, I don't know, if Sir maybe Sirius, because you know how in Catching Fire, doesn't PETA doesn't make it out or something, right? Doesn't the bad side get PETA, and then they're like separated for a really long time, but then they get back together eventually? That's why I think Regulus will be the PETA now. He'll be snatched. But it could also be sad if Ceres gets snatched. But I think it would make more sense if it's like Ceres, Remus, James in the order, and then Regulus is in the Death Eater's bit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And then Euphemia has to get whipped because she did some bad stuff. I don't really know. I was really speed reading through that bit, but they were beating up the Aurors and then... She's gonna get whipped in the town square. Maybe she'll die then. Unclear, but absolutely delicious. I can't wait. This is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be the entire black family reunion, you know? They're just all gonna be hanging out. <laughs> yeah, cause who's gonna be from the other districts? So it's Marlene from whatever district that is. I guess there's another guy from her or somebody from her district. I don't know. Then we got Bella and Lucius probably. Frank. Ooh, Frank's gonna die. Probably. Emmeline, I guess, was one of them. Who are the other people? I wonder who's gonna be, what is there, Finnick and Annie? And Annie was like, had lost her mind a little bit. I wonder who, what the equivalent of that is. I guess Bella, maybe? I don't know. I'm very excited for this arena. Let's go! It's gonna be good. I also, like, I can't remember how long they're in the arena. I remember the clock thing is happening for a little bit, and we get a couple of the hours, but not all of the hours. So they're there for a bit, maybe like three days, and then they get snatched out of it. I don't remember. Damn, okay. So what happened in this chapter so much? Dumbledore is responsible for the quarter quell rule. That's rough, rough, crazy. I also love that Dorcas is rebellion. Very exciting. I'm assuming that's why she dressed serious sort of shittily. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I do want to say, I feel like this war doesn't really seem like a war. Like, Minerva and Dorcas keep being like, we need to do this to win the war. And I'm like, babes, what war? Y'all haven't done anything. Like, literally nothing. There's no war yet. Also, I really feel like Katniss was more of like an icon. Like, she was super rebellious. Purposefully rebellious. And then... Like, didn't want to become an icon, but they made her one. Obviously in Catching Fire, but she just seemed more like a spark, you know? Literal flames, but like, more of a spark than Regulus and James. Like, Regulus and James sort of just like, accidentally did things. And now everyone's like, we're starting a war because of them. Because of their love. And I understand that love is like, the thing, because that's the winning theme in Harry Potter. But I don't really feel like that works in Hunger Games. Because Hunger Games is about, like, capitalism and, like, the world that we live in now. And I don't think love will solve that. <laughs> Guess we'll find out together. I just feel like the stakes seem wrong. I did indeed call it. Minerva just confirmed that they're going to save Sirius, not Regulus. So, 
I've been new. But that made me think. So if Sirius is the one that's saved, like the Katniss, and Regulus is the younger sibling, the Prim, if you will, I think Regulus, or the Peta also, Regulus is going to get snatched by the Death Eaters. He's going to go hang out with the Death Eaters and be tortured, fun stuff. And then I think uh, Regulus is going to die a la Prim vibes. But I think it's going to be James's fault, which is going to make it ten times worse. So James is like the Gale, I guess, sort of, not really. And I think James is going to accidentally kill Reg in some sort of watery death. It's got, we got to go back to that water. So somehow Reg is going to get slurped up. <laughs> I was talking about this with my other friend who's reading this. And she's like, I can't believe you keep laughing about Regulus drowning. And I'm like, it is what it is, man. <laughs> other delicious things. I wrote down my notes. That's what I'm reading off of right now. Bella and Narcissa for District 1. Yaxley. I hate Yaxley. Yaxley and Lestrange. Caro and Raul. The whole gang's here, guys. All the Death Eaters. Love that. And then Luscious, my boy, is <laughs> the mentor. So I thought Lucius was going to be in the Court of Quell, but I guess not. Um, and then Longbottom's mom. So Frank's mom volunteered. And then Alice got chosen. I thought it was going to be both of Neville's parents in the thing, and I thought they were going to die in this. And then R.I.P. Marlene McKinnon. She better not die. I love her. And I want a happy Dorleen at some point. And then Reg and James had their first little tiff. So cute. James is thoroughly pissed off. I love it. Ending the chapter with a uh, Remu absolutely devastating me because he had no idea what was going on. And he's really excited to be uh, assigned to the suite again. And then they all come in and he's like, oh no, something's wrong. And then he's like, oh, it's okay. They'll do it again. We'll survive. It'll be fine. But no. Sirius is the one going in. <laughs> that was really sad. So I'm hoping Remus gets saved as well and brought to the rebellion so he could hang out with Lily, but I don't really know how that's gonna work because I have a feeling like they're gonna get snatched during the games, which means James would be at the like sponsors area and then Remus would just be at home. So I don't know if Remus is actually gonna get it out. So then maybe what's gonna happen is Remus and Regulus are both going to end up on the bad side, not purposely, um, being tortured. And then James and Sirius will be happily ever after with the rebellion. So sad. So neither of them are with their partners. I'm really vibing with this. I love- this is- I'm having such a delicious little time. I'm excited to see how wrong my predictions are, although I feel like they're going to be right. But none of my predictions have been- I mean, some of them are right. I should keep a little score of how many- have been wrong or right. <laughs> All right, so I'm not really sure where I last left off, but this chapter that I just read was really long, so I'm just gonna sort to start from there. <laughs> this was the goodbye chapter. So these are gonna be like my final parting thoughts on what everything that's going on before we get into the second arena. So this one was really sad. There was a lot of goodbyes, a lot of uh, James absolutely being broken. Um, and that really hurts for me because I, like, Kin James, I, we're literally the same person and I, everything that's from James' perspective, I feel so deeply, uh, it really hurts when he's in pain and when he is broken, I'm like, oh, and every, the whole time he's so angry at Regulus and I, like, I'm so angry at Regulus. And then finally when Regulus says, I love you, and it, it all clicks. And and I was like, okay, no, no, I get it. I get it. Even though I was getting Regulus's side of things, because we're getting like multiple perspectives in this, I still like, I so deeply feel with James's side of everything that, um, yeah, that moment was rough. And let's see, what else happened in this chapter? So we got some James and Regulus um, fighting, but also having a sex and then also forgiving each other and talking things through um a lot of, lot of goodbyes we also got the series remus um making out but also crying very sad um we also got some dorcas marlene uh making out also having a cute little haircut moment so everybody's like come to terms with things and that i really like that about this fic um i feel like not a lot of fics i mean i haven't read a lot of fics but just in fantasy books in general I feel like there's really not a lot of like good representation of like good communication in relationships 
not only does this fic have like a wide variety of representation, but within that representation, it's also showing healthy relationships and communication and communication in really difficult circumstances. And I think it's very interesting that like, this is, it's such a breath of fresh air in fantasy in general, just to see all these characters, like they're in really hard times and they're going through really difficult things, but they're still really communicative and healthily talking through things with their partners. I love that. I guess my final predictions, we know that they're going into the arena tomorrow and we know that chosen people are not going to get to say goodbye to anyone and they're going to be snatched and put straight into the arena. Oh, I forgot Snape was in it. I wanted to complain about that. I was really hoping Snape was just not going to be in this at all, <laughs> but he is. Um, he's already so irrelevant. I forgot about him. I hope he's not that important in this. The Potters both somehow have survived and are in the order. Um, I honestly still don't know how they've survived this long. I feel like they should be dead by now. Not that I want them to be, just that I feel like that's how the plot goes. Lily just went on a mission. The entirety of District 6 got destroyed. Yeah, Dorcas needs to- she's on the mission to steal everybody out of the arena. She's running that, it sounds like. So, I'm pretty positive Regulus is not gonna make it out. Um, I think Regulus is gonna end up with all the Death Eaters doing something else. I'm curious to see if Regulus is gonna sort of play like a double agent type of thing, or if he's going to be just immediately on the dark side and then never comes back but he's still like always acting for the good side, just no one knows it type of deal. Um, that's gonna be pretty heartbreaking, I have a feeling. My predictions for the second arena. I'm so freaking excited. At one point I was just thinking, I was like, ooh, it'd be interesting if they sort of did it like Triwizard Tournament style, where for some reason their loved one is in the arena and they have to save their loved one as well. I think it's going to be a maze, Maze Runner-esque style. The literal only reason I'm thinking that is because I accidentally looked at the chapter titles beforehand and saw that this upcoming chapter is called Maze. It's going to be useful because the maze will separate them all, but then I feel like it would be easier to extract people. Is it going to be Maze like the Triwizard Tournament, how there's like things that like snatch them and pull them into the maze and they die, or like like the the tree branches and the sphinx and stuff like is that gonna be in the maze port keys maybe port keys come into this i just had that thought right now <laughs> sorry <laughs> that'll be interesting i don't know if Mar marlene's gonna make it out or not i feel like they've been talking too much about how she's promising to try to survive and make it out and i have a feeling maybe she's not gonna that would be really upsetting or she makes it out but something has really changed about her and she can't like function or something or she dies when she gets out um, James is gonna make it out. I think Sirius is gonna make it out. Um, I think Regulus is gonna make it out, but he's gonna go to the other side. Same with a bunch of the Death Eaters. I'm sure a bunch of the Death Eaters are gonna survive and be on the other side. Oh, I haven't talked about that. They did the interviews with all the victors. That was really exciting. Very funny. I loved all the little, like, manipulative things that they were all doing with Rita Skeeter. That was so good. And Regulus is saying that he's gonna get married with James and Narcissa saying that she was pregnant. So good. I think it's gonna sort of follow Catching Fire, and I think Regulus is gonna end up in the Death Eater side. Either that, or maybe they'll do it the other way, where James get, ends up stolen by the Death Eaters somehow, or like, maybe Sirius? And Regulus has joined the Death Eaters, like, officially at the meeting, but I do think he's, like, double-siding it a little bit, although he said he's gonna kill Sirius, which was, oof, crushing. Um, I just don't, I don't know about that because I feel like he's forgiven James. I sort of feel like he's forgiven Sirius as well, but maybe not. I don't think he's gonna kill Sirius though. That's crazy. If that happens, I'm gonna eat my tongue, I guess. I'm not quite sure where it's going, but I also feel like catching fire, like there's only one path and I sort of know where it's going already, you know? And I think it's gonna end with them all dying, but maybe not because I also saw that there's another ending that the author has released that's called like everyone dies ending, like the sadder version. <laughs> which I think is very funny. Um, I'm gonna read the normal published version first and then try to find the everyone dies version because I think that's hilarious. I'm gonna read the next chapter so wish me luck. We'll see if I'm like sobbing the next time I check in I guess. <laughs> I decided to just live reaction the beginning of the maze because I feel like it's gonna be a crazy chapter so let's go. 
Are you just really out here saying he's gonna kill Ciri? This is a lie. I... There's no way. I don't believe it. If it happens, I'm literally closing this audiobook. Or this ebook. This is... That's not... Regulus is not. I... No. Yeah, it's a maze. It's a maze. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Regulus just punch serious. <laughs> I can't believe Regulus just stole his bag and left. Oh, that's wild. James is going to be so annoyed. Oh, I can't wait. I hope we get James POV. Okay, so I'm thinking about this bag, right, that Sirius just had, and now Regulus stole it. And Sirius is supposed to be, like, the chosen one that Dumbledore chose to extract from the maze. But since Regulus now has that bag, are they going to extract Regulus instead? Or Regulus has a way better chance of surviving, and Sirius now has, like, no chance of surviving because they're in this, like, maze that has nothing. Is that going to be the problem? That would be crazy. The Black Brothers are freaking insane. <laughs> That's cute. They're so cute. They're so messed up. <laughs> I hope we get James POV and Remus freaking out about this whole interaction. <laughs> okay, we're rescuing people. It's happening. Oh no. Okay, Regulus, Regulus, they found Regulus. Oh no. If Regulus makes it out, the main series is not gonna. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I knew that was one of the things that could happen. But I really thought Regulus was going to be the one that they didn't get. Because then he would do, like, the betrayal thing. This is so much worse. Ugh. <laughs> oh, no. I hope they at least get Remus. Are they going to get Remus? Ah. Okay, I don't really remember the last time I checked in. I have filmed a couple, like, live reaction things. But I have basically finished Arena 2. Very sad. R.I.P. It only lasted three days. So sad. These chapters were massive. They were like 50 pages long. Crazy. I was right. It was a maze. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> Not that, I mean, it spoiled it for me, but I knew it was gonna be a maze. And then I was like, ooh, it's probably gonna be like, hung, like maze runnery, uh, triwizard tournament E was my thought. And I was right. The maze like moves around. I guess it's more triwizard tournament than it is maze runner. But just mazes in my head that move are just a sort of automatically a maze runner thing. So that's where I was going with that. They have like the hands that reach out and grab you into the thing, which sort of happens in the Triwizard Tournament that like the trees like eat you. And then they keep shifting and the rustling of it, very spooky. Some green mist, obviously, we got going on. The Bogarts, very fun. Delicious. Mm, delicious. Not red immediately punching Sirius in the face that was so funny and stealing his bag I was like oh spicy love that like let's get into it I was really positive that was going to be a big problem because I was sort of thinking that that bag was purposely put for Sirius because they're trying to extract Sirius so they wanted him to survive but I was thinking there's gonna be like a tracker in the bag or something and then since Reg took it I was like maybe they're gonna like save Reg instead now I mean, you can't replace one black brother with the other, though, but maybe that's what they're going to do, which, of course, we will see in a little bit sort of what happened. <laughs> I also just don't believe that Reg would ever kill Sirius, and I was correct. <laughs> I wrote that down as I, I, like, take notes as I've been reading because I send little notes to my friends that, uh, that have read it already. And I said, I simply don't believe Reg would purposely kill Sirius, and I would honestly hate this fic if he did. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, I still don't know if Reg or Sirius is going to be extracted, but it's definitely not both together. <laughs> Reg and Sirius having the first kills. <laughs> Great. Love that for them. James POV. Oh, I was so glad they gave us a James POV of that whole like first bit because I was like, oh, I need to know. Like I'm like kicking myself right now, like thinking about James watching reg immediately get into the arena and just deck serious and steal his stuff i would be like reg what the hell like what the hell are you doing so i'm so glad that we got james's perspective i was like honestly i want james perspective for every single little scene in this but i know we're not gonna get it but this was delicious also that everything i do for you 
like everything I do for you my ass like that what ugh. Reggie he's the worst I love that James was like you stole Sirius's stuff for me for me and then Reg have a little blood panic attack and then made me sad because he killed the guy and then there's those pages where it's like everything I do in the arena is for you He's such a good liar. Everything I do in that arena is for you. He tells so many lies. Everything I do in that arena is for you. Ah! I was like, James! I have some song recommendations. <laughs> Doomsday by Lizzie McAlpine was running through my head while I was reading this. And then I realized that like every lyric in this song is almost perfectly for Crimson Rivers, Jegulous. Like, perfectly. I need you to go listen to it right now. It is so good. I picture it as, like, James singing to Reg. And I would have married you if you'd only stuck around. <laughs> Pull the plug, but be careful. I don't want to die too soon. I think that there's good in you somewhere. Like, tell me that's not James to Reg. Tell me that's not James. And then the ending line of that song, where it's like, and you did it on Halloween? Are you joking? Are you joking? That's, that's a Harry Potter song. Like, another thing that I really love, Yaxley. Yaxley is like, he's just consistently like the butt end of jokes. Like, he's the worst Death Eater, and I think it's so funny. Like, just in actual canon, he's a terrible Death Eater. But then also in this, he's like the shit Death Eater. I think that's so funny. But also, he's one of the named Death Eaters in... Um, a very Potter musical by Star Kid. Throwback to that. Lily having a thing for Euphemia. It's not on my bingo card. I honestly, this is not my Lily. Sirius punching Reg the second that he sees him. Also great. Delicious. Love that. That makes sense. So Sirius and Reg fought, and that um was very upsetting, as we all know. However, I still haven't cried in this fic. I think something's wrong with me. But I, for me, AUs are like so separate from the actual thing. That I'm always like, it's like a show. Does that make any sense? Like, it's like, I'm like, oh, those aren't my actual boys. My real boys are dead. They're back in the ground in canon. <laughs> but like AUs for me, I don't usually read AUs because I like just don't understand. Like, I I don't connect with them as much. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, but this is fake. Because they, they would never be in the Hunger Games without a wand. Whatever, moving on. <laughs> Um, anyways, here's a Reg fight that was very upsetting, dramatic, um, but the whole time I was like, they're not gonna kill each other, like, they're not, there's literally no way, they're not doing it, um, and I was right, and Sirius also knew this, so, we love that, and then I was really excited, because I had exactly 1,000 pages left in this fic, <laughs> and then, uh, he did it for James, he did it for James, Regulus! I say Regulus's name different every single time I pronounce it because in my head I feel like the short version is Reg or Reggie but the long version is Regulus but I keep wanting to say Regulus Re Regulus it's, it's too difficult I can't like the Bogarts so good they're so fun I love the Bogarts the whole James Regulus thing Ooh, rough totally rough mmm I almost forgot Sirius fighting Bella. They had me for a second. I really, I almost thought Sirius died. I thought he was gone. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? They killed him off so quick. I wasn't expecting that. That's not as impactful as I thought. And, but he wasn't dead. He was just snatched into the maze, um, which is great, I guess. Fine, yeah. Uh, and then we get into the extraction phase. They all got separated, right? And at this point, I was like, all right, who's it gonna be? We've had our predictions in. I was really convinced they were gonna get Sirius and they were gonna get Marlene and they were gonna get all the others, but not Regulus. Um, boy, was I wrong. They got Regulus and Marlene, um, but they did not get Sirius. And um, honestly, at this point, I hope Sirius just dies. I hope he dies now, because that would just be better. It would just be better for everybody. So. I know he's not gonna. I'm sure he's gonna be extracted and then used against them, and he's gonna be like a PETA, essentially. Um, but I, I was just sort of hoping he would die, maybe instead. That would be. Uh, I think that would be better for everybody. <laughs> also, like James is not. James is not gonna do well. And um, when James is hurt, I'm very hurt, and I don't really want that. And then I'm freaking out because they sent Remus home early, 
and he was supposed to be home so he would have been easy to take with them but now he's in his little dorm room so I don't really know if they're gonna get Remus I hope they do if not this is gonna be bad so maybe they'll get Remus but not serious which is also bad I just want all my little chickens in one basket I know you're not supposed to put all your eggs in one basket but I'd like it if they would all be safe for me that would be nice this is where we're at. They finished the extractions. Sirius was not extracted. Uh, Reg is freaking out. I still haven't heard what happens with James, Minerva, Dorcas, and crew. So I guess we'll see what happens with them. Hopefully they snatch Remus. Don't know if that's gonna happen. But they didn't get Sirius. And that sucks. It sucks. Other news. Bizarre stars. Zip. Czar. Sorry, L. The author of this reposted all of their fix. So thank God I'm very excited because now when I post this video, y'all aren't going to be asking me for the PDF. And I'm not going to give it to you because it's not what I do. So if you want to go read it, it's now back up on uh, AO3 under a different name. I'll put the link down below. My predictions now. Um, they're going to go back to the base. It's going to be a little boring because I'm going to be like, I don't really care about this base bit. Um, and then, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get- I still have like a thousand pages left, I think. Czar made a separate ending for this, which is called the Everyone Dies ending, <laughs> and it's like the sadder version. So I guess that does mean to me that not everyone is gonna die, so I guess that's good news. Um, I sort of thought everybody would, as Marauder's plots go. So I will be reading both the ending that they published with, but also this alternate Everybody Dies ending. So I'll give you all my thoughts. I'm doing another live reaction. Um, so they haven't gotten Remus yet, but he's down in the basement room or whatever, and we're now getting his POV. He knows something's wrong, and he's so convinced it's James, obviously. But Lucius is down there. I'm honestly surprised they killed Bella so early. Um, let's see if Lucius also dies. I'm eating dinner, by the way, in case you're wondering what this is. Damn, Remus! Pop -pop. Remus just like yanked Lucius through the bars and then started beating him up. They got everyone but serious. Damn it. It's happened. Something's happening. Frank? Oh my god, Frank just died. Who's coming? What is happening? Where's Remus? <laughs> not James not wanting to leave Frank. He doesn't understand he's dead. Oh, James is broken. He doesn't even know Sirius is lost yet. Ah. James Potter doing James Potter things. I thought he would live longer in this. <laughs> oh no, I might cry. <laughs> He's gonna freaking crash. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Did he just die in a car crash? What's going on? Oh my god. So Sirius and James. Oh, either James is dead or he's gonna get taken with the. Oh god. <sighs> Not Marlene. Oh my god. No, it's making it out. This is crazy. Move. I'm a medic, says Lily. <laughs> and she's alive. Never mind. What? Absolutely what? I thought she got shot in the lung, the way they described it, but whatever. Alright, she's fine, I guess. <laughs> oh, not Snivellus? Okay, so James is alive, but he's also gonna be snatched by the horse. Damn. Snape about to kill Potter? <laughs> Woo! Voldemort saved him! Voldy saving the day. <laughs> ah! Sirius is in Azkaban. James is going to the castle with Riddle. This is crazy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Now that they're out of the arena, this bit has been so boring. I simply do not care about Lily's sexual escapades. It's also not Lily. That's just like, that's not Lily at all. 
that's not my lily. There's been like one chapter, one scene of Sirius and James. And so we know that Sirius is being tortured in Azkaban and kept in Azkaban with a muzzle on. And James is being treated really nicely like royalty in the castle. So he's in Hogwarts, I guess, with Riddle. And then they gave James LASIK surgery, which I think is really funny. Uh, anyway, and then now James is doing little speeches to, like, quell the rebellion while Sirius gets tortured to stop Sirius from being tortured. I'm just really bored. Regulus is barely even in it. He's just like, I want to escape. And it's like, okay, Remus has, like, also barely been in it. It's just about Lily and, like, Marlene being, like, so mean. I just don't care. I really just don't care. <laughs> I don't care about Lily. I don't care about how Marlene is treating everybody. Marlene's just being, like, so nasty to everyone. Like, I love Marlene, but in this... I don't know what she's doing. She's so immature. And I get, okay, she's been through trauma. But, like, she's just, like, burst into Dorcas's room and was like, hey, girly, like, let me go on the mission instead of you because... And then just emotionally manipulates her into letting her go. And I just, I feel like this is a setup to kill Marlene. Like, obviously, Marlene has to die eventually. And I think she's gonna die in this mission. Which this mission, Regulus burst into Dumbledore's office and was like, Hey girly, um, you're gonna rescue James and Sirius and I'm gonna do a little broadcast for you. So I just thought that that chapter was, uh, it was like all the stakes were raised really quickly, um, but not excitingly. I don't know. I was sort of annoyed. But anyway, we find out that Dumbledore volunteered for Aberforth in the Hunger Games. Delicious. Makes perfect sense. We also find out that Ariana was then chosen next, so Dumbledore goes into the arena with Ariana, and then she dies. At first, it said that Dumbledore killed Ariana, and I was like, damn, that's rough. But then it says, no, like, he indirectly killed her, because when Dumbledore went for his tribute stuff in the beginning with the uh, interviews and stuff, it used to be at Hogwarts, and they used to meet the game maker, which was Grindelwald. And then Albus and Grindelwald fell in love. And then when it was just Dumbledore and Ariana at the very end of the Hunger Games, Dumbledore was going to kill himself so that Ariana could win. But then Grindelwald was like, nah, -uh -uh, and killed Ariana. And then Dumbledore wins. So Dumbledore blames himself, which valid. Albus went and broke into Hogwarts and killed Grindelwald. So now we get the whole backstory. Interesting. I liked it. Cool. Now they're doing this really dumb plot, <laughs> which is that they're going to go rescue uh, James and Sirius, which I pretty positive happened in the real Hunger Games. I don't remember Catching Fire or Mockingjay, like pretty much at all. But I do know like Peta was doing broadcasts and then they rescue him. I get it. Yes. Okay. But I, that's what they're doing now. But there's no way they're all going to get out. Because there's too many working parts in this one, and it doesn't make sense for them all to be happy. So, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who's gonna die. I think Marlene, the worst plan they could have possibly had. Like, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so, um, my debate is, like, who's gonna get back? This is the thing. Marlene's definitely gonna die. Either James and Sirius will either both die or, like, be stuck there type of thing. And then Remus will also die. Or, something like, they all die. But I feel like... There's got to be at least one or two of them that still survive so that there's, like, something to hold over Regulus. I also feel like we still haven't had, like, the Prim plot where Prim gets killed by accident by Gale. So I'm looking for that. I don't know if Lily's gonna die. I feel like Marlene's definitely gonna die. And then the question is either Sirius or Remus. I think Remus is gonna die. I think Sirius will get out and be like, 12 years in Azkaban. <laughs> And then James, I really don't know. I don't think James, it doesn't make sense for James to escape. I hope he doesn't die. I don't know if I could handle that this morning. Also, the Marlene Dorcas thing, I'm so over it. I love Dorlene, but this is like, they're just like being mean to each other for no reason. And it's really immature. And it's not like, yes, Dorcas hid stuff from Marlene. But also, like, I don't know what Marlene's going on about how she like thinks everyone wants her to be like prim and proper. And then everyone's like, no, we just want you to be you. And she's like, liar! And I'm like, you're projecting, babes. You're projecting. So, chill out. Stop being mean to everybody. Because she also was, like, fighting with Lily. I don't know. I'm so over it. 
I'm excited for this little plot thing. Who's gonna survive? Cut to me, like, crying because James or series dies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Sirius is dying because of the green bug! Isn't Remus immune to it though? <laughs> not Sirius fighting. <laughs> Sirius gonna kill Remus? That would not be good. He doesn't know, he's not there. Okay, well now they're kissing, so I guess it's fine. Hello, so I haven't checked in in a while because honestly, literally nothing's happened. I'm just so bored. <laughs> I will say I have a bit of criticism for this section because like a nothing was happening it's just like them hanging out in district 13 or the order whatever they're calling it and it's just so boring I don't care like I don't care who Lily's dating I don't care that Remus and Sirius are fighting and now they're making up I just don't care it's not plot it's just like them hanging out which is fine whatever but I also hated the way the scenes were set up when they were like taking over the districts one by one the chapters or like the little sections and i quote started with um this is how it went or something like that and i was like this is terrible writing literally all you'd have to do to make it good is take out that sentence just remove that sentence and then just go straight into the action and give some context like in district one like these people were fighting and it went well and then you do your little page break thing and instead of saying this is how it went you just go in district 13 this was happening whatever the hell so i was sort of annoyed i was like this is very lazy and i expected better of you czar because the rest of the book was written pretty well this part was written bad i was bored <laughs> and then obviously they go on that one trip and rodolphus or rabistan rastaban whatever the hell his name is the one guy died and he was a brother and then everyone's like that's so sad brother's dying i feel like it's probably like a foreshadow i just don't know what's gonna happen really because i was expecting way more death and sadness and i have not cried a single time this entire book so i am enjoying it but i thought it'd be way worse i kept thinking people were gonna die and they never happened the only people that have died so far sybil amos and Rabistan or Rodolphus or something. I don't care about any of those people. Like, it's fine. It's sad. Okay. But like, main characters all still here somehow. That's not my marauders. <laughs> my marauders are dead in the ground. <laughs> if we're following the Hunger Games plot, which we pretty much are, from my memory, I haven't read Mockingjay in years, so I barely remember what happens. But all I remember is that, spoiler alert, Prim gets bombed by Gale and he knew she was there or something. I don't know who that's going to be in this because I don't feel like we have a Gale. Katniss is obviously Reg. Reg is going to make it to the end. I'm so positive. Although Regulus is the only person that I feel makes sense dying. <laughs> so that's why I'm like a little confused how this is going to go. Because I could see something happening where like Reg accidentally gets killed. Because Reg does accidentally die in the actual Marauders. So that's why I'm like... I also like literally just don't see any deaths happening. Because that's sort of how this book has been going. So I'm a little disappointed. I hope people die. Because <laughs> it makes it sadder and more meaningful to me. But my current prediction is Reg is definitely going to make it to the end. And then he's going to do the thing where he shoots Dumbledore instead of Riddle. That's how I remember Hunger Games ending. I don't remember, does Snow also die? I don't remember. So I guess we'll find out if Voldemort is also gonna die in this or if he'll just like go to jail or something. I don't know. My only other thought is that maybe some people will die like in battle. Like we might lose some of the core four. But yeah, we're going full send in. So I'll check back probably when I finished. Unless something crazy happens then I'll start filming my reaction. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Like, eight people just died. I didn't think anyone was gonna die. At this point, I was like, oh, this author just doesn't kill people. But Marlene, that was rough. That was crazy. Wasn't expecting that. Although, I well, okay, I take it back. I was expecting it, because she was like, I'm gonna marry Dorcas. And I was like, okay, you're gonna die. <laughs> and then she dies. Um, that was rough. And then Sirius also was really hurt, but Lily and James found him and fixed him. So hopefully that goes okay. 
But now, okay, we just got Pandora, Fleamont, Emmeline, Alice, Rodolphus, Narcissa, Electo, Minerva, Mechanical. Like, are they just gonna kill everyone? Because who else is in this line? Remus, Dorcas, and Reg. They're not gonna kill all of them, right? I'm gonna keep reading. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Oh, Remus, Remus just died. Oh my god. Dorcas, Regulus. Um, so... <laughs> I'm mid-chapter. Remus and Regulus just died? What? I thought... Reg was going to be the Katniss. I thought he was the Katniss all along. I guess new prediction, Sirius is Katniss now and is gonna kill Dumbledore? And maybe James will kill Voldemort? And then maybe the whole thing. What's going on? You got me. <laughs> what a plot twist. I'm, this is crazy. I don't know what's going on anymore. And then now Euphemia's running around because now Fleamont's still alive, but he's not. He's dying. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Where's Rich? Where's Regulus right now? What is he doing? Because I can't imagine. He just spent like uh, 30 minutes in a van with a dead Barty Crouch. So I can't imagine he's doing well right now. <laughs> I'm going to check in at the end of this. I can't. I can't. Hello! Hello! Welcome back! <laughs> yes, yeah, so that was the Caesar Flickerman intro song if you were wondering. <laughs> I'm also, as you can see, in a different location. This is um, my home bedroom. I did indeed forget to film my end thoughts, but I did record like 80 voice messages for my friends about it. So I thought I would uh, just rehash those voice memos for you. So I finished Crimson Rivers uh, a couple weeks ago. It was I wasn't able to film because I finished my dissertation. I had to put all my stuff in storage. I had to move out. I had to fly across the ocean. So now we are here and I'm finally ready to record my thoughts. And boy, do I have a lot. So where we left off, the fake murder shooting thing just happened. And they got me, they got me. But uh, after that, I was so annoyed that no one was dying that I almost didn't finish it. <laughs> and I put it on hold for a couple of weeks <laughs> because I, no one dies in this fic. Spoiler alert, well, Marlene does and so does uh, Fleamont, right? Two people, are we joking? Two people out of this whole thing die? And then like Frank died and uh, Bellatrix and stuff. But like, I'm gonna argue here, sure, I love them, they're great characters. They might be your favorite character, but in this fic, they're not relevant. They're not, they're not, they're not relevant. They're not main characters, they're B-list characters. Even Fleamont, I would argue. Fleamont was really sad. I still didn't cry, but like, he's not a main character. I don't, he's barely in it. He had like two chapters. <laughs> Marlene was like one of the main characters I would argue and that death I was like oof okay it's happening um and then Dorcas obviously heavily grieving was really rough but I was so annoyed that our main uh, four boys all survived I mean we love happy ending but also like that's not Marauders to me or Hunger Games both of them are sad and full of death so the shootout was fake, and then Snape saved the day. Hate that. I hate Snape. We don't like that. Snape saved the day. Hate that. I don't like Snape. I don't want, like, I don't want him to be a good guy in this fic. I was so upset that he saved the day. That, was, that sort of sucked that he arranged this whole thing. I mean, it was, it was fun. You got me. Whatever. But I was annoyed. And then Reg and Dorcas come in, and they're like, haha, you killed your own employees. Haha. <laughs> and then Reg is gouging people's eyes out and breaking their fingers and then decapitating Riddle. Why? Why? I was absolutely horrified when that happened. That was like one of the main horrific things that happened in this. I was like, oh, what's going on? And then they never talk about it again. I don't feel like that was necessary. Shock factor, yes. 
I didn't do anything for the plot. Also, I would argue that makes no sense politically because if you quietly murder the person, you're not making a scene, so you're not making it into a big symbol thing to show the people what you've done. Also, it makes you look bad because you killed them in private, so that doesn't make your new political platform look that great. I don't understand. Oh, when they got separated into the little groups while they're running through the town, I thought that was really interesting how we had the different um, problem, different like capital problem things happening. Like there was like the big goop and then like the children. That was really creepy. Don't know what that was. Um, I don't remember if that happened in the real Hunger Games. I remember there being like things in the streets, but I don't remember it being like that. But when they got separated, really scary. I loved the phone call was all they needed to like get like them away, get Sirius and Marlene. They just needed like one little moment and then they were able to break away. That was really fun. I liked that. Um, Marlene stepping on a explosive, not fun. And then Sirius being messed up, not fun. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that was rough. And then, yeah, serious. But then, after the war is now concluded, nothing happens. And there's still 400 pages left of nothing. I, yet again, almost DNF'd it because it was so boring. I was like, what are we, what are we here for? What's happening? And I got, I get it, we were getting like a, after the war, they're like, finally all putting their pieces back together, settling down, having a happy family. You did not need to do it like that. We could have had like one chapter with little snippets of their lives. It's too much. They're all grieving. We get it. We get it. Also, so one of my other friends that also read this, she reads all the little author's notes and apparently told me that in the author's notes it said that if the character has a POV, then they won't die in the end. So that's how she knew that Marlene was gonna die. Because Marlene never got a POV. I don't really like that. That's like a, I feel like that's a weird spoilery thing. But also, why'd they all survive? <laughs> Whatever. So Albus giving away power so easily did not make sense. I feel like that's unrealistic. He's a terrible person. I did like how this fic portrayed Albus as such like a terrible person, but like thinks he's doing everything for the greater good. Like that, that was good, 10 out of 10. Um, we love that Sirius killed Albus. That was fun. A little spicy. A little woo. But also, yet again, why was it not like public public? If we're making political statements and we're trying to start a new government, how are we going to do that? I also didn't like that after they just kill all these people, this main core marauders group is just sort of like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to leave. Which like, okay, valid. I get it. You just fought a war that you didn't want to fight and now you're like expected to set up a government. But also you expect me to believe that you're gonna get involved in this cause and care so much about this cause then go to war for this cause and then just be like i'm gonna go live in the woods now like that doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense i'm sure like okay yes like not everyone is a leader or meant to be a political leader and sure they probably were like i don't want to lead i don't think they should have but i think they should have like been there to make sure that things don't go crazy again and that everything's gonna go okay but then the rest of the fic literally was like, I don't even look at the news anymore. I don't know what's going on. I hope it's okay. Like, what, what do you mean? You just fought a little war and then you're like, actually, I'm just going to go live in my little house and whatever the government does, the government does. That makes no sense. And that makes no sense. Dorcas became so terrible so quickly. And I, I don't know if I liked that. Um... It was a very interesting, like, grieving thing, but also it got so dark so quick, which I guess is good representation. I really liked how much representation this fic had. We had all different spectrums of genders, identities, sexualities. Love that. I didn't like, I will say, um, who was it? Pandora? I think it was Pandora. It was Ace Arrow, I think, and there was literally a sentence in it was that was like, being Ace Arrow is okay. I was like, yeah, it is. Why'd you say it like that? Like, that was weird. That was like, ooh, <laughs> give me the ick. Uh, but I did really like all the other, like, representations of, like, healthy relationships, like Sirius and Remus talking things through in the beginning when Sirius was really, like, uncomfortable and, like, didn't know what to do and uh, how that relationship blossomed. But they also, like, respected each other a lot. 
that was like i've never seen a healthy wolf star relationship before and that was a pretty healthy one i think so <laughs> um ending thoughts oh why did dorcas try to kill lily and minnie that was crazy and was like girl chill out why are you sitting in the street like this the Dorcas chapter was one of the better chapters of the entire book, but it's just like all these chapters are so long and most of them like have literally nothing happening, so it's not saying much. So my final thoughts. Jegulus, get married, cute. They adopt some kids, cute. I didn't really like that this fic ended very normally. Why do they all have kids? <laughs> like I, I... I don't know, I understand James wanting children. James seems like a person who wants kids. I get that. Wolfstar having their little adopted orphanage thing going on. That was really cute. And then they adopt um, Teddy, cute. But why do they all have kids? It was like, all of a sudden I was like, whoa, what's happening? Are we reading a heterosexual fic? Like, why are they all getting pregnant and having children? <laughs> <laughs> like there's gonna be one of like you're telling me all of these people just went through a war and went through the hunger games and want to have children now something doesn't drag i like sure it's fine i get it like representation for the people who like to have kids sure but like i don't i don't feel like everyone in the world wants to have kids and uh I just it gave, it gave me the ick. Um, Sirius and Remus's wedding also very cute. I liked that Remus stopped the wedding so that Sirius would, was present. That was a cute little thing. I also oh my god I love when Sirius like broke up with James. That was very funny. Um, he's like, are you breaking up with me? And then Sirius is like, well, <laughs> James is like, you can't. Like, yeah, that's like on par. However, I genuinely don't believe Sirius and James would literally ever not live next door to each other. So I don't really know if that tracks. Although realistically speaking from like uh, in the real world, like people living and being best buds. Yeah, okay. Like you move away from your friends sometimes because you have to, but I also, not my fictional boys, not my fictional boys. They need to stay together forever because they will be upset if they're not. Yeah, all in all, I'd say the ending was pretty boring. So, I don't understand why they all survived. And then I also absolutely hated the weird little heaven thing where it was like so and so dies and then like they see each other in the white world after world, whatever. It was weird, very boring. I was like, this is, we didn't have to do this. I didn't need to see their entire lives. I did not. You could have just ended it with, and then they had their happy little families and their children and they lived happily ever after. I don't get it. Overall, I would give this fic probably like three stars, maybe. I did read the alternative ending, so let's cut to my thoughts on that. So I just remembered that there's this extra little bit, a great big tragedy, which is like a divergence from the normal Crimson Rivers plot that the author wrote as like an everyone dies type of scenario. I don't know where it fits in. I thought it was gonna be the end, like replace the end bit, I guess. But um, the author's note beforehand, I don't read the author's notes. I don't know if I said this earlier. I don't read the author's notes because apparently they have spoilers in them, but also I don't care. <laughs> like hot take, no offense to your author, whatever. I don't care what they're talking about. I want to read the story. I'm not here to read your little notes about like, this character dies. Oh my god, I had so many problems writing this chapter. Like, cute if you like fanfic reading like that, but I am not about that. I literally just want the story and then I want to move on. I read parts of the note for this one just because I wanted to know where it fits in and it gave me no answers because it said it fits like chapter 24 or something? Is a divergence from the other fic from chapters 24 to 25 especially if you've read chapter 31. I don't know what that means because none of the chapters had numbers when I was reading it before. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume this is in the first, like the end of the first May, uh, not May's, first arena because that seems like 24, 25, that's like pretty early on. There's so many, this chapter, this whole thing is so long. Um, so I'm assuming it's the end of the original arena which makes me think that i guess they kill everyone off in the original arena which i don't think makes sense but we'll see how it goes i have no predictions for this besides the fact that everyone's gonna die and i don't know how it's gonna happen so let's go hello so 
after finishing that, I'm yet again disappointed. <laughs> I thought when they meant everybody dies that they would mean like everybody dies. But instead it's just an alternate ending of the first arena. Why? 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 I was more expecting like a ending of arena to like mocking J ending, alternate ending of different people dying. Like I feel like Marlene should have died earlier. I feel like Remus, Sirius, James, and Regulus should not all have survived. Where would I have killed them off? I don't know. I do feel like almost if the fake shooting was real would have been absolutely crazy and soul crushing. Just the way that they didn't even get like a full sentence for their death and then we just move on and like that would have been nuts. I would have been really upset that there was no death until then and then all of a sudden everyone dies because that's just ridiculous. <laughs> But I, I still sort of believe that, I know Regulus is like the main character in this, but I feel like he should have died because that's how the fic, like the, that's how his character goes. And that's why he's tragic. Like without that, he's not tragic in my opinion. He's just whiny. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm gonna get some mad comments about that, but that's my opinion. So anyway, would I read a lot, another Regulus fic? Yes. Uh, I did like enjoy that. I really enjoyed the arena bits of this and I loved the like how Hunger Games and Harry Potter like fit together so perfectly. Loved that. I also like do I ship Jegulus now? I don't know because in my head it doesn't make sense. I just don't like that there's always Lily erasure or like they like kill off Lily or make her queer so that she can't be with them and I I don't like that like I feel like they could still have a relationship but also Jilly could exist like and Lily could exist like I don't know why we have to kill her off and make her disappear like people can be gay or bi with women ex still existing is that's what it feels like to me it feels like you're like oh they can only be gay if there's no women and that's not how it works so that's my problem with Jegulus, my main problem in the fandom. However, I have been seeing a lot of Jegu Lily recently and I sort of like that. I think that's interesting. We love a little poly ship. I think it's cute. And I feel like to me, that's the only way that Jegulus makes sense is if Lily is also like, I love this one, not you. And then James is like, I can make that work. <laughs> right? Like that tracks. <laughs> that tracks to me. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this edition of Amelia reading really famous fan fictions. If you haven't seen, I read All the Young Dudes. And I have a couple videos about that. All the Young Dudes is still my all time favorite. I don't think anything's gonna pass that. Um, and then obviously, My Immortal is another second best. But <laughs> that's all I have for today. I am very much considering reading another famous fic soon. I have a little list going of some famous ones because I just like to be in the know of what people are reading. Um, so if you have any like suggestions, put them in the comments. I like Canon Compliant. Um, I like Wolfstar. I like Marauders and that's pretty much it. So some of the ones I'm thinking of reading next, I'll let you guys like vote down below or something. Um, I'm thinking about reading Manacled. <laughs> I I'm sort of scared to do it. I feel like I'm very much not gonna like it, but I need to know why everyone's talking about it. I'm also thinking about reading Art Heist Baby and Just Lovers by Zep. Um, but I'm also thinking about reading All the Young Dudes from Sirius's perspective and also James's perspective. I don't know what I'm in the mood for, but I am currently reading uh, physical real books, so I don't know when I'm going to get to that. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. I'll see you. Bye!